What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Entrepreneurs. Today I want to talk to you about the opener. This is something that's very vital to a speech. Any kind of presentation is that opener because that's what captures the audience's attention and it's going to make them actually listen to your message or not listen to your message. So you don't want to ask some random off the wall question but a lot of times asking a question at the beginning of the speech is or presentation is a great way to get people open to what you're going to talk about. Really get them to think about the message that you are about to present them, the problem that you're about to solve by speaking to your audience. So you want to make sure that you open up with that question in the right way or come out with a statement, a fact, whatever it may be. It needs to line up with whatever you are speaking about. Again, you don't want to say some random facts, ask some random question that has nothing to do with anything that you're going to talk about in that speech. But of all of the aspects of the speech, the opener is probably the most important besides obviously the actual message that you give. But you have the opener, the message, and the center of the content that you're going to actually provide and then you have the closing the ending the conclusion to your speech and of course you're going to wrap up with that conclusion but really unless if you're really having a call to action there at the end which hopefully you do have that your opener is really going to be more important because people are going to be captivated or turned off by you simply from that opener i want you to think about going up and talking to a girl for the first time or talking to a guy for the first time you don't just go straight in and start hey let's go on a date no first you open up maybe you try to ask a question you give them a little compliment whatever that may look like for you whatever you're most comfortable with doing when you approach that person to try and get them on a date to court them whatever that looks like for you but you don't just go straight in for that kill or go for the clothes as well, which a lot of people would think sex, right? But whatever that clothes may look like for you, you don't want to just go straight in for the kill. You have to start by opening up. So just like that relationship, just like starting with getting to know somebody, you have to open up first. You can't go right in and talk about exactly your intentions because let's face it. Uh, maybe a guy could get away <laughs> with telling a girl, hey, my intentions of this relationship or us getting to know each other is to get married. And I think pretty much anybody would be freaked out if that's exactly how you start it. But that's what a lot of people do with their speeches. Rather than asking a question of how many people in here work out five days a week or how many people in here are afraid of speaking? And you're kind of asking that question. Or maybe you give a fact and say that you know, I'm just making this up, but 80% of people are afraid of public speaking. And that's why you need to get better at public speaking. And that's a statement, a fact. Obviously, in this case, it was not a fact. But you want to make sure you have a fact there that you can present at the beginning to capture that audience's attention. You don't want to go straight into talking about, well, you need to get better at public speaking because you suck and public speaking is going to help you become a better leader, a better husband, a better business person, better salesman, whatever it may be. You don't want to just go straight in with that. You want to actually ask the question, who here would like to get better at public speaking? Again, lead, give a soft ball, you know, toss underhand that ball so that somebody can catch it. It's just a little soft question for people to think about. Okay, yeah, I want to get better at public speaking. Okay, maybe maybe Philip's on to something. Let's go ahead and listen to what he's saying. But if I just go right in and I'm just like, you're terrible at public speaking. Everybody's terrible at it. You're not going to listen. You're going to tune out right away. And this, again, going back to the analogy of the date. If you go right in and say, hey, let I want to get married. And that's why I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> That girl, that guy, they're going to be out. I'm like, this person is a weirdo. They l clearly live in a shelter because they don't know how to talk to somebody. And so that's why the opener is so vital to your presentation. Is it literally makes or breaks if somebody's going to listen to you throughout the rest of the speech. Of course, you have to have great content within that speech. 
and you need to close with summarization, with having that call to action, whatever that closing looks like for you. But that opener is so important. Like I said, it'll make or break whether people are going to listen to you or not. So some great ways to open up, like I said, question, stating a fact, starting with the story. You can say what you're going to talk about with that story. You can tell people what you're going to talk about in the presentation about, hey, today I'm going to tell you how public speaking can help change your life. That's not a fact. That's not a question, but you're stating what you're going to talk about. So you let the audience know right away. And the people that are watching, if it's a video on social media, know whether they want to actually listen or not. So in today's video, in today's podcast episode, I'm going to talk to you about why public speaking is so important and how it's going to help impact your life to be something to make you better. And then you're either like, yeah, I need to get better at public speaking. I want to better my life. So you turn in, you tune in, or because I said, hey, public speaking, you're like, I'm out. Either I already got it down, I've nailed it, or I'm so afraid of it, I don't even want to do it. So I'm not listening to anything that guy's talking about. But because you've stated what you're going to talk about, and even though people may tune in, which is obviously what you want, but then people tune out as well, it allows you to reach the people that really need to be reached. Because again, if you have talked to anybody and you have had trouble getting through to them, it's probably because they're already tuned out. And you don't want to talk to those people anyways. So for me, I help people with speaking abilities. I help people become better speakers, get better at public speaking and presentation skills and be able to be better at sales because they're able to talk better and be able to relate with their audience and be able to actually speak a clear and concise message. But if you're not interested in that, you are not part of my audience, then I'm going to turn you off. So therefore, you're not going to listen to me anymore. But that's okay because I can then reach the proper audience that I want to reach. So think about your profession, what you are trying to do. Speech is so important for that. But talking and telling people what you're going to tell them at the start, asking that question, giving that factual statement that's going to be like, oh man, wow, that's, that's crazy. That's alarming. The more alarming you can make it, the better. Of course, you can start off with a joke too, but those are just some ways that you can open up well with the speech and why it's so important to have that opener. Again, the opener is important because it lays the foundation for the rest of the speech and it helps people tune in or tune out so you can talk to the people that are ready to listen and ready to learn.